I want the Sigma Group to be measured by the positive impact it's leaving with those in need the most. Last January, I witnessed something extremely special. The inauguration of a school by the Sigma Foundation in Bonga, Ethiopia. My appeal to you is to join us on this fabulous journey in creating more good. I look forward to welcome you to this foundation, the Sigma Foundation with arms wide open. This is my life, this is my, this is my world, Ethiopia, saving moral and social justices. We, I think we, it's all within our moral remit to step forward and do what we can, when we can, to whoever we can. Anyone who is contributing for the development of education for kids is a crucial and a key. I think helping out others always gives you more than you give. Always love and generosity has no boundary. Always a traverse, uh, just uh, uh, crosses the border and comes to help the needy. So Sigma Foundation is bringing change in Ethiopia and in our society. So please, do not be afraid, do not be scared to contribute to this foundation who are always coming to visit their friends in Ethiopia, especially kids, students who are in need of going to school. So come to contribute to the foundation because the foundation is putting a seed for tomorrow. Sigma Foundation recently inaugurated a three-in-one school for a thousand children in Jimabonga, Ethiopia. The foundation is committed to invest in education in the poverty-stricken nation. In order to fund these important projects, Sigma Foundation organizes adventurous events such as the Camino de Santiago and the Kilimanjaro Challenges. Participants train hard for these events whilst also fundraising events. I've been uh, part of this experience for the past uh, three years where I started first of all by trekking um, uh, across various parts of Malta as part of the training process and then we did the Kilimanjaro challenge so that was my first stop throughout this whole journey and at the time we were raising funds in order to build a school here in Bonga, Ethiopia. Fundraising actually makes a difference in people's lives on the ground, so it's, it's really important that everyone pitches in. And another thing is that you have to be innovative with fundraising. You can't just do the same thing all the time. You have to think of other ways in which you're going to raise funds uh, to make a difference in someone's life. I started Camino de Santiago trekking and I started fundraising, which was immense. It filled me up with so much joy and happiness. 100,000 euros for the Sigma Foundation. Because I'm doing this for my daughter's memory, I think that has been a major, major motivation. Um, you know, before we started off, I would barely even get out of bed in the morning, period, because I was really, really down. And once this uh, project started off, it gave me a reason to get out of bed in the morning.
here I am uh, with friends of uh, Zigma uh, who have come uh, from Malta to help build a school for 1,000 uh, children in Jimabonga. And that school means a lot for uh, the students there uh, who will have uh, a building, a proper building, where they will be able to do their studies. And education, as you know, all is the base for uh, development, for peaceful living, and also for fraternity and solidarity. We also had issues around, around prices going haywire because of, uh, of what was happening in Ukraine, because of COVID or logistical issues. Um, so prices of raw materials, cement, metal, building materials were, were going haywire, increasing threefold, sixfold. However, seeing it open, seeing, seeing the, the children there, seeing the teachers, seeing the parents, I mean, it, it, the feeling, you cannot describe it, because, I mean, we have been working for so, so much, for so long, and now you see, you see the final product, and know that it's going to make a big difference for, for the children and the, and the families in Bonga. It's captivating. You cry once you enter that, that complex and see the, all those children there, happy with happy faces, smiling, greeting us. I mean, it's, it's a very emotional experience. This is directly for the benefit of the poorest of the poor, especially the children and giving education, giving the future life, you know, for the children. I was really very emotional, you know. Uh, the children, when you see, how much they were uh, smiling, they were jumping, you know, the families, you know, because these people, they don't have a, a wealth to pass it to their children. But what they can really give, you know, for their children is a good education. I will leave Ethiopia with very fond memories and definitely the smiles of the kids I saw yesterday deeply imprinted in my heart. I think being there and seeing the children who will receive an education through what we have done, seeing how the funds have been used, every single donation that was given, um, and you could see that you are really impacting the future of a society through education and making their life better. And that I think is something which no words can really explain the joy it brings um, to that you have actually been part of it and experienced it. So three years ago we, em we embarked on this, on this mission to collect 300,000 euro for a three-in-one, a primary school, a kindergarten and a lower secondary school dedicated to three and Maltese individuals who unfortunately passed away very unexpectedly and tragically at a very young age. And we embarked on the project, got hit by COVID. But once again, it's, it's divide and conquer. Save up, build, move on. Save up, build, move on. Vis-a-vis -vis the project within the bounds of this week, it was heart moving, heart rendering, and it tore emotions from every angle. I saw people shedding tears. There was so much which came to the culmination of this. So I really hope that the group have come here and those tears of joy will fuel further projects. Sigma Foundation has already lined up several new projects in Ethiopia. These include a project to empower girls and women in the region. Access to education remains the foundation's main focus. We started today, a little grow tomorrow. For tomorrow Ethiopia, really putting a very, very, the most important thing for tomorrow Ethiopia. Why? Because it's focusing on education. That education will change Ethiopia. I'm so proud of the Sigma Foundation 
that they are thinking first of educating the people, especially the smaller ones, that they are tomorrow's generation. And we hope that this Sigma Foundation will continue to bring or to raise other people how to help those who are less fortunate than us Maltese. For by teaching, we lessen the poverty of the country. By educating the smaller ones, we hope that tomorrow we have a better generation in Ethiopia. Contributing for the development of education is just, you know, building the future of the generation. You know, when you teach a generation, you are building the generation and the future of the, of the generation. So those who are really at home, if they come and see what's really happening on the ground here in the poor nation like this, and helping them will give them really the real joy inside of them because they have contributed something which will not die. Education will not die, you know. So helping on education is a basic. With your help, Sigma Foundation can provide education to many more children and give them a brighter future. And giving life for us during our time, giving life to something which we can to someone, suffering people, is like answering to living the gospel, living, living the message of Jesus Christ. So, Please join them. The thing is that when you come here, you realize how these people live with nothing and are happy, and that we have so much, and sometimes we grumble for nothing as well. And I think each and every one of us can do that little bit to, to, assist, to assist these people. Or you can do something else, but in our case, it's the projects that we do. Hunger waits for no one, so it is within our moral ju jurisdiction to always put our best foot forward for the good of mankind and to re reinstate some level of social justice. So if you have all the implements at hand here now today, get in touch with the Sigma Foundation or any other charity. For us, you know, charity is charity. We work symbiotically with so many different charities. So, you know, go ahead, just do it. But in action, is tacit complicity. Inaction is saying, I'm, I'm willing to sit on the fence and watch the sun rise and set without bringing myself forward. Ultimately, we have one life and one level of contribution that we can go through. The sin doesn't lie in not doing. The sin lies in having all the, all the tools at hand to be able to affect change, to enact change, and you let them fall by the wayside.